another story that was basically taken out, and I think this is an amazing story, and it came with satellite images and video, and it's an amazing story. And I've been, and I look, listen, I wouldn't uh, bring this up if, if this wasn't been hasn't been backed up uh, by multiple other sources and multiple other years. I've been uh, talking about this for years about how the U.S. was arming ISIS overtly, covertly. Uh, you know, the oil never was cut off. Uh, you know, I, I complained about that years ago. Complained about there, you know, the pickup truck that, that got sold out of Houston and went to Turkey and, and then ended up in, in Syria in the heart, in the, uh, in the, uh, under the auspices or under the control of ISIS, you know, with a 50 caliber machine gun mounted on the back of it. I think it was A1 Mark Plumbing or something like that. Nothing to do with the guy, the plumbing company now. Uh, but, you know, this is a used truck they mounted a machine gun in on that came from America. And they never did cut off the oil, all afraid of the, the nightmare bomb their wellheads. I mean, the oil stay on the ground. And anyway, here's the Russian military uh, saying that the uh, Russian military accuses U.S. of supporting ISIS. That's an unbelievable uh, uh, a charge. Uh, and it should have made news all over the world. It should have made news all over the country. And nobody even bothered to repeat this uh, in the uh, Trump administration. Um, and this was going on long before Trump took off. And then if you take a look at this, this is, uh, you know, the main thing, this is according to the Russians, the uh, main thing preventing the final defeat of ISIS in Syria, American colleagues. That's what's stopping the defeat of ISIS. And, you know, I can see why the United States doesn't want to have uh, Russia winning, and then Iran has their troops there. You know, the Supreme Leader wrote a book on how to wipe out Israel. And Hezbollah would love to wipe out Israel, and Hamas would love to wipe out Israel, and Israel is a big ally of the United States, and uh, you know, I don't know, can you see why they were trying to keep this going with ISIS? It's wrong, it's evil, uh, but, uh, you know, when ISIS goes, I mean, I think that could be the, you know, we're just going to be that much closer to, uh, to World War III in the Middle East. I mean, I, Iran wants to destroy, and uh, this is no longer, oh, you misinterpreted uh, the Supreme Leader wrote a book on how to destroy Israel and how smart the U.S. But, uh, you know, the U.S. helping ISIS after all this war oh, against ISIS, I mean, you know, I mean, they're, they, they come with satellite images and they, they go into great detail on how they think the U.S. is helping ISIS. And, uh, and then a lot of other uh, evidence says we armed them. They overtly, covertly, how do you like to put it, but we armed them. Uh, there were no, you know, free Syrian, there was no free Syrian army maybe a long time ago. You know, there was no, the rebels were ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Anyway, another thing I wanted to...